Welcome to the June meeting of St. Dorothea's Prayer Focus Group. This month, we're thinking about hope. Hope is a wonderful thing to have, particularly when the present time is difficult and hard to endure. By definition, hope is described as a feeling of expectation, a desire for a particular thing to happen a desire for things to change for the better. We all need hope to keep us going. As Christians, we have the greatest hope of all, hope of eternal life with our God, a life which begins here and now in this world and continues forever in heaven. We have that hope of being reunited with loved ones gone before us and of being in the presence of our Heavenly Father. Our world is so much in need of hope when we think of the damage wreaked by COVID-19, when we look at how our fellow men and women are treated in many parts of the world. And when we observe the damage done to our natural world. As we move into the summer season, we see signs of hope all around us as COVID restrictions begin to lessen. Restaurants and businesses are beginning to open up again. People are flocking to beaches and beauty spots. And travel to see loved ones is becoming possible again. Out in the fields there are newborn animals and fresh flowers and foliage. In my own garden I've got a rhododendron which has only just come into flower and it actually hadn't flowered for a couple of years and I'd pretty much given up on it. But I decided to give it one last chance and I tried to do all the right things, transferred it to a bigger pot and put the right fertilizer on it and gave it plenty of water and believe it or not it it did yeah it did come into bloom I saw these um, flowers flower buds begin to to swell and I got really excited about it and it was just the hope that it was at last going to produce flowers and the bible has so much to say about hope I'm just going to choose a few of these passages and let them lead us into prayers for people and situations that they seem to suggest. We hope that you'll find this time of prayer uplifting as we focus on God and the hope he provides. We begin with a verse from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 which is in itself a prayer. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal comfort and a wonderful hope, comfort you and strengthen you in every good thing you do and say. At this time, Lord, we we pray for comfort and for hope for all those who have been recently bereaved. And we think especially of our friend Maureen in our own church. We just think of the sorrow they feel. And we just pray that they will feel your loving arms, your loving comfort, Lord. And we pray for those who find this life unbearable at times. There are many people who have suicidal thoughts, who just feel that life is just not for them. And we just hold those people up to you, Lord, and we we pray that they will be given hope and a reason to keep going. And we also pray, Lord, for all of those who need comfort because they are separated from their loved ones. 
perhaps because of distance, because of the COVID pandemic, or perhaps because of a, a rift in relationships. So many people need your, your comfort and your hope, Lord, when they go through these difficult times in life. And we just pray that they will all just somehow feel a sense of hope and a sense of, of your, your love and comfort, Lord. Amen. And now a verse from Micah. Micah chapter 7, verse 7. As for me, I look to the Lord for help. I wait confidently for God to save me, and my God will certainly hear me. At this time, Lord, we know that there are many people who are feeling afraid and who need to have some hope for the future, that they will be saved from difficult situations. There are many people who are still afraid of uh, getting COVID-19 and we just pray for them and that they will have the confidence to to get back into the world again if they have been shielding and keeping themselves apart. Keep them safe Lord from what they most fear and we think of those who perhaps need saving from depression, that they have just sunk into a kind of depression that it's very hard to get out of and they feel they don't have any hope. And we think of those who have perhaps been self-harming and who need saved from that and need some hope for the future. And we pray for those, Lord, any we know, just in general, we pray, pray for people who are in very difficult relationships, abusive relationships, perhaps. And we just pray that, that they will have hope and be saved from their fears. And a, a favorite verse from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Those who look to the Lord shall renew their strength. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And at this time we think of the many people who, who need to renew their strength, who need healing, and who need to be able to deal with, with illness and the difficulties that it brings. We think of those who have had cancer operations recently or maybe waiting for results to know what further treatment they need. I'm sure we all know someone who is suffering from cancer, Lord, and we just pray a blessing on, on all these people and just the fear and uncertainty that a cancer diagnosis brings. We think of those who are still in hospital after a long time suffering from COVID-19. And we just pray that these people will be able to leave hospital again. We thank you for the many people who have come through very difficult times and they are on the road to recovery, but it's going to be a long road. And we pray that they will just Feel your help and your strength, Lord, as they get back to some kind of normality. And we think of those who are suffering from what is called long COVID, that their situation will be understood and sympathised with and they will get the help that they need. And we think of those who are just suffering from the weakness of, of old age, we know there are many folk in our own parish. And Lord, we just ask you to bless all of our older folk and help them to just be able to, to deal with all the, 
the difficulties that come their way and we pray that they will get all the help and support they need from friends and family and from people in the church that they will just be able to to cope with this stage of their lives a verse from psalm 42 verse 11 why are you downcast o my soul why so disturbed within me put your hope in god for i will yet praise him my savior and my god and we think very much at the moment of those who are downcast about the future. We've heard today about more redundancies. And we know there are many people who are just feeling quite downcast about they, their future prospects. Maybe loss of a job, maybe loss of income. And we just pray for, for all of those who have those concerns, Lord. We think especially of those who are struggling to provide for their families and maybe having to resort to food banks that they never had to before. We ask your blessing on those who are concerned about possibly losing their home. And we pray that all of these people will receive the help and support that they need in their different situations. And maybe above all of that, we just pray that they will have some hope for their future. A verse from Psalm 31, verse 24. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. And just at the moment, we think of the people in other countries, especially the developing world, who are really struggling in, in many ways. In so many areas, there's an issue about good water supply, and, and Christian Aid has highlighted this. There are so many people, Lord, who just need the means to earn a living, and we pray that they will get the, the support that they need, that they will be given the means to, to earn a living rather than just a handout. We think of countries where people are exploited by big corporations, by other countries. We just pray for a more equal distribution of the good things in life. We pray that in many countries the, the health care system needs improvement and we just pray that, that the money and the, the will will be there to improve the level of care for the ordinary people and especially where there is an issue with maternity care, countries where mothers and babies are dying needlessly. We pray for international help. We pray for the help that these countries and these situations need. And very important, we think of education in countries where there is very little good education. We pray for, for all the, the support and the encouragement and the, the means that are required. We think of uh, schools like um, the Aswa Harariat in Ethiopia that we have been involved with over the years. We thank you for the wonderful work that they do and we pray that there will be more and more schools like it to help the people who really need that sort of education. And a well-known verse from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And our final focus is on our young people, our 
children, our grandchildren, the young people in our lives, those that we care deeply about. And we hold all these young people before you, Lord, and we ask your your blessing on everything that they do. These young people are our future, the future of our country, the future of our world. And we just pray that they will get the right sort of encouragement and be given the, the hope that they need for their own futures. I think we all know of many young couples who have had babies recently among our friends and families. And a new baby is just such a such a wonderful sign of hope for the future. Lord, we just ask your blessing on all the, the babies that have been born recently, especially those that we know, and for the new parents. It's often a difficult time amid all the joy of a baby and the hope that it brings. It can often be quite a struggle in getting the sleep that they need and the support that they need. And we just think of all the the new parents that we need and ask you to bless them, Lord. Thank you for our children and just help us to, to love them and to give them all the help and support that they need. And just to end with a verse from Romans 15, chapter 13, which is a beautiful prayer, a prayer for hope. I pray that the God who gives hope will fill you with much joy and peace while you trust in him. Then you will have more and more hope and it will flow out of you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.